The purpose of this video is to give you a quick overview of how to navigate the Westlaw Next platform. There will be supplemental videos later on that focus on how to search for cases, statutes, and other legal materials. One thing you will notice once you are logged in is the large search bar running across the home screen. This search bar will be on every page in Westlaw Next and you can use it to perform searches inside of each resource. Located next to the search bar on the home screen is a jurisdictional box. The default setting is all state and federal. This means if you perform a search it will be pulling materials across all jurisdictions. Since most of the time in law school and in practice you will not need this broad of a search, you can change the jurisdiction by clicking on the box and selecting only those jurisdictions that you need. For example, instead of all state and federal, I want to search for materials that just apply to Georgia and the 11th Circuit. I'll click on the box, select Georgia, and then the 11th Circuit, and click Save. Now when I perform a search, I'll only be pulling materials that pertain to these jurisdictions. You can also use a search bar to, to search for databases and resources inside the research system. For example, if I want to access the United States Code Annotated Database, I can simply start typing and a drop-down menu will appear suggesting databases for me. It is also important to note if you want to return to the home page at any time, you can simply click on Westlaw Next at the top of the screen. The Westlaw Next system also gives you the option to browse for resources instead of performing a search. The browse box is located under the search bar and is divided into five main categories. The All Content tab enables users to search for information based on the type of law or resource. If you click on a resource, in this case we'll click on Statutes and Court Rules, you will see that the resource is further divided up by jurisdictions. The Federal Materials tab enables users to browse for laws and resources that only apply to federal jurisdictions. Likewise, if you want to find laws and resources for a particular state, you would click on the State Materials tab. The Topics tab allows users to browse for laws and resources based on a variety of broad legal topics. Just because your topic is not listed does not mean that there are no resources available on that topic. The topics listed are simply the ones with the most resources available on Westlaw Next. If we click on a topic, in this case we will click on Tax, you can see that the topic is further divided up by resource type. One thing you might notice after we entered the tax topic is that the text inside of the search bar has changed to Search Tax. This means if you were to perform a search, the system would only be searching across the tax materials listed below. If we click on Tax Cases, you will see that the search bar has now changed to Search Tax Cases. This is very useful for users who do not want to search across the entire system but want to limit their search to a specific resource or set of resources. You may have also noticed that there is a star located beside the name of each resource. If you click on the star, you can add that database as one of your favorites. You can then access your favorites from the home screen. You should save databases that you use most often to your favorites so that you can quickly navigate back to them. The last tab we will look at is Tools. There is a wealth of useful resources under Tools, but the ones you should be most familiar with are the West Key Number System, which you will learn about in another video, and the quick links to TWIN, the Law School homepage, and Westlaw.com. The last aspect of Westlaw Next we will look at is the History function. You can access the History function by clicking on History at the top of the page. The History function will retain all of your searches and documents that you have viewed in Westlaw Next. This enables users to pick back up from where they started or remember what resources they have already searched. That is it for your introduction to the Westlaw Next research system.